just my name is Dawn Bennett, and this is the first class in the seven part series in Path to Passion. And today we're really going to focus on just a high level overview. We'll talk about sex, intimacy, and how to bring passion back into your relationship. And we're not taught how to speak our wants, our needs, and our desires very often. Some of us are, some of us are not. Some of us are only taught to do it in certain circumstances, right? So as we immerse ourselves in this class and the complexity of relationships of all kinds, right? Will be, you can use some of these tools to apply to how do you talk to your friends? How do you talk to your family? How are your partners, how are your partnerships or your marriages? Okay. So once again, I'm really fortunate to have my mentors, Alina Frank and Craig Wiener, who were, the, who are, excuse me, the emotional freedom techniques, uh, master trainers of trainers. They are my mentors. Alina has over 20 years in the field of sexual healing and sacred sexuality. She's also the international best-selling author of the book called How to Want Sex Again. And so, as I mentioned, they created the majority of this course and have allowed me to adapt it and use it as my own. So emotional freedom techniques itself is a form of energy psychology medicine. And really what we believe is that most issues are emotional at their core. Quote unquote, negative emotions, worry, grief, anger, are a result of blocks in the energy system. And the things that cause these blocks are things like painful experiences, trauma, Right? Anything that's too much for your mind to handle when it actually happens due to whatever circumstance is going on. And as humans, we try to set these things aside, right? Like as if it hasn't happened. We try to create time and space and we think, oh, that's not affecting me anymore, right? And I hear people say this all the time. Oh, I've worked with, I'm over that. Like that was years ago. That's no big deal. But remember that our experience in the moment actually influences who and how we are now. Right. So, for example, if you fall off your bicycle when you're five and you scrape your knee right now, you're like, oh, yeah, I fell when I was five and I scraped my knee. It's no big deal. Right. But when you're five, if you're bloody and you scrape your knee and you're in pain and no one's around and you can't get the help you need, that could be a traumatic event. Right. So just remember, as you're doing this class and as you're working through this process, that things that don't necessarily seem like a big deal now or that you're like that that's not even related to what I'm working with. Your brain somehow has made a link and that link is informing what's happening now. So just know that even if you're like, wow, I'm tapping on, um, you know, my body image. And I'm thinking about the time I was catching frogs when I was five, right? Your brain has put it in some kind of bucket and it's important to explore. So look at what happened when I was catching frogs when I was five. What was I feeling? Did someone say something? Was there a tone? You know, there's, there's some kind of link that could possibly be there. So just know that, that those things are happening. Okay. So what about sex and happiness? Right. And why are we even talking about sex? Like why is sex so important overall? I mean, look at our culture, right? Sex and sexuality are so dominant. Social media, magazine covers, television commercials, right? We all hear the word sex sells, sex sells. Everything, internet, cars. Really overall, there are lots of beneficial effects of sex on your health, okay? Queen University study reported that men who have sex three or more times a week can result in 50% decrease in a man's risk of heart attack and stroke. A Wilkie's University study shows that sex one to two times per week boosted immune response by 30%. Exercise and fitness is comparable to regular lovemaking because what it does is increase heart health, burns off 200 calories or more. It can tone core muscle and pelvic strength. It actually helps regulate women's menstrual cycles, reduces a man's risk of prostate cancer, and produces endorphins enough to reduce physical pain and been shown to offer temporary release from headaches. So your homework assignment this week is to go back, explore your list of fears around this topic. As I mentioned, how are you feeling currently about your relationship? And that's all. So thanks for joining me.